Hi guys, so I'm here with today's Bible reading. I just got yesterday's up. Today, we our translation tr changes today on Sunday. So this week we're going to be reading in the Holman Christian Standard Bible translation this week. The HCSB. And we're going to begin where we left off yesterday with 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Now concerning the ministry to the saints, it is unnecessary for me to write to you, for I know your eagerness, and I brag about you to the Macedonians. Achaia has been prepared since last year, and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I sent the brothers so are boasting about you in the matter of wood not prove empty, and so that you would be prepared, just as I said. For if any Macedonians come with me, I find you unprepared. We, not to mention you, would be embarrassed in that situation. Therefore, I considered it necessary to urge you, the brothers, to go on ahead to you and arrange in advance the generous gift you promised, so that it will be ready as a gift and not as an extortion. Remember this, the person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the person who sows generously will also reap generously. Each person should do as he has decided in his heart, not neglecting or out of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make every grace overflow to you so that in every way, always having everything you need, you may excel in every good work, as it is written. He scattered, he gave to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now the one who provides seed for the sower and bread for food will provide and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way, for all generosity, which provides thanksgiving to God through us. For the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing in many acts of thanksgiving to God. They will glorify God for your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with others through the proof provided by the service, and they will have deep affection for you, you and their prayers on your behalf, because of the surpassing grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. And that was Second Corinthians chapter 9. Now for our psalm today, we're going to read Psalm 51. A Prayer for Restoration for the Choir Director, a Davidic Psalm when Nathan the Prophet came to him after he had gone to Bathsheba. Be gracious to me, God, according to your faithful love, according to your abundant compassion. Blot out my rebellion, wash away my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. For I am conscious to my rebellion, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, I have sinned and done this evil in your sight. So you are right when you pass sentence. You are blameless when you judge. Indeed, I was guilty when I was born. I was sinful when my mother conceived me. Surely you desire integrity in the inner self and you teach me wisdom deep within. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. God, create a clean heart for me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore the joy of your salvation to me 
and give me a willing spirit. Then I would teach the rebellious ways and sinners will return to you. Save me from the guilt of bloodshed, God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing of your righteousness, Lord. Open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not want a sacrifice, or I would give it. You are not pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifice pleasing to God is a broken spirit. God, you will not despise a broken and humbled heart. In your good pleasure, cause Zion to prosper. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in righteousness, sacrifices, whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be ordered on your altar. Mouth is really dry. Okay, guys, that was Psalm 51, a prayer for restoration for the choir director, a Davidic psalm when Nathan the prophet came to him after he had gone to Bathsheba. Excuse me for just a minute. Sorry about that. My mouth is really dry. So lastly, for our Bible reading today, we're going to read Proverbs, chapter 22, verses 24 and 25. Don't make friends with an angry man, and don't be a camp companion of a hot-tempered man, or you will learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. Again. Don't make friends with an angry man, and don't be a companion of a hot-tempered man, or you will learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. And that was Proverbs chapter 22, verses 24 and 25. So that was today's Bible reading, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. And once again, we're reading in the Holman Christian Standard Bible this week. As for my Bible reading, I just got out of Ecclesiastics and into Songs of Solomon. And I'll be in Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 8. Or chapter 5 through chapter 8, what is it? Yeah, I'll be reading chapter 5 through chapter 8 of Song of Solomon today. The one yesterday, where it's the first beginning of the Song of Solomon. So beautiful. Such beautiful passages. It's where um, the love. It was about you know getting they was, they got married and everything. You just have to read it because it's just beautiful, just like the Psalms are. It's really beautiful. And again, that's the song, a song of Solomon, right after the book of Ecclesiastics if you're interested in reading that. But, um, okay guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.